Hello and welcome. In today's screencast, we'll show you two ways you can speed up your internet connection to help you make sure you're making the most of your high-speed broadband link through a cable or DSL modem. Along the way, you'll be checking how fast your machine runs, changing and updating software and system settings, then rechecking your network speed to see what impact your changes have made. To begin with, let's take a look at how fast your internet connection is running right now. Open Internet Explorer and navigate to www.internetfrog.com. Click on the link that reads Test the Speed of Your Connection in the Quick Tools area on the right-hand side of that page. This tool uses Java, so you may be asked to install Java if it's not already running on your machine, or to update some Java-related tools if they need it. Carry that process to completion, and you'll see a screen similar to the one now showing. It rates the download speed at 2.96 megabits per second, and the upload speed at 259 kilobits per second. Write these numbers down somewhere because you'll be comparing them with identical measurements at the end of this screencast. Next, let's make the first of our system changes. In Internet Explorer, click on the Tools menu entry, select Internet Options, and then click on the Connections tab at the middle right, and click on the LAN Settings button at the bottom right of that pane. The Local Area Network LAN Settings window pops up on your screen as shown. Make sure all three checkboxes in that window are unchecked then click the OK button at the bottom of the window. Click OK in the Internet Options window to apply these changes and close the window. That concludes Step 1. Now let's rebuild your Windows sockets, also known as WinSock, that Windows uses to control input and output of data across Windows connections. Over time, this interface can get gummed up with spyware or other software that gets installed on your machine in the course of ordinary Internet use. Point Internet Explorer to www.snapfiles.com. Then type WinSock in the search window at the upper right of that screen, as we show you here, and click the search button. WinSock XP Fix shows up in the search results. Click that name to get to the download page for this free software. Scroll down until you see the download button, then click it. A security prompt may pop up at the top of your screen as shown. Click on that prompt, then click Download File to begin the download process. On the resulting file download window, click Run to download and install the software on your PC. Because this program is not digitally signed, IE may show a security warning and ask you if you really want to run the file. Click the Run button to proceed. The VB WinFix 1.2 button will appear on your screen as shown. Click the Fix button to repair your WinSock installation, then click Yes when the program asks you if you want to apply the WinSock fix. You will see various progress messages as the program proceeds, and then be asked if you want to reboot your PC. You will, but don't click the Yes button in that Reboot Notice window until you've saved any work you might have unfinished in other program windows. When you do click this button, your PC will shut down all open programs and restart itself. This also concludes the second of four speed-up steps. To see how much good these first two changes have done, you can return to internetfrog.com to run the speed test again. You should see improvement something like what we experienced in our test run, where upload speed increased from 259 to 265 kilobits per second, and download speed from 2.96 to 2.99 megabits per second. For a relatively modest effort, you can indeed make more out of your internet connection. Please go to digitallanding.com for more information, other screencasts, and articles 
about your digital lifestyle.